Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khalid Maidan. Today's video is the second video in our x-ray series, Read That X-ray, where you will have 10 seconds to find out what is going on with four particular x-rays that we've picked out for you. So with that in mind, here's number one. Read that x-ray. All right, time's up. So at first you see this x-ray and think that the patient has multiple joint dislocations, but actually this x-ray has been used to diagnose this patient with rheumatoid arthritis. Examples of characteristics on the x-ray that confirm this include the subluxation of the MCP joints, particularly the thumbs, and also the swan neck deformity of fingers, particularly the fourth finger as you can see here. All right, here's x-ray number two. Read that x-ray. And time's up. So this x-ray demonstrates a dislocated acromioclavicular joint on the right-hand side. Note the significant gap between the clavicle and the acromion, which is the key giveaway sign. You can also just about see where the skin is raised in a step-like fashion here, due to the clavicle pushing up. If this patient has not had an x-ray, but you saw them in clinic with this presentation, and this pushing up sign was not present on the other side, you would definitely need to review this with a senior colleague. And on to x-ray number three. Read that x-ray. Time's up. So in this x-ray we can see that our patient has a fractured neck of femur on the left side. The biggest clue is that we cannot see the neck of femur on the left leg because it has been impacted, whereas the right neck of femur on the other hand can be clearly identified. And finally, here is x-ray number four, where we can see this small white mark. What do you think this is? And time's up. So the small white mark you can see is a sign of the increased deposition of calcium. This tells us that this patient has a calcific tendonitis, which can also be picked up on an ultrasound scan. Given the position of the deposit, can you tell which tendon has calcified? Well done if you have said the supraspinatus, which runs over the top of the humeral head and down into the greater tubercle. And that completes our video. Thank you as always for watching and give us a thumbs up if you liked it. And for more of our best educational videos, follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and keep watching Clinical Physio.